I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. As part of our ongoing coverage on phishing, we recently spoke to several top experts. But before we check in with the CISOs, we caught up with Javad Malik, lead security awareness advocate at Nobefore. When it comes to phishing, it's been a threat that's been out there for decades now. But today, the actual threat of phishing is higher than it's ever been before. We've seen so many industries have moved to a fully digital infrastructure over the last couple of decades. And so things that were manual or segregated networks, so critical infrastructure or healthcare, all these things that were never connected before, they're all connected, they're all online. So if one of those employees clicks on a link, they download something, they give up their credentials or something, the results could be absolutely catastrophic. And we've seen this happen time and time again across many verticals uh, around the world, where we've had hospitals shut down, we've had critical services grind to a halt, we've had pipelines not, not being able to deliver gas. So all of these things are out there. So the risk is absolutely super high. And we've seen organizations, they've invested in technical controls brilliantly over the years. It's a lot easier to, if you can coerce an employee to take an action that's not in the best interest of the organization, you can cause a ton of damage. Cyber threats are on the rise, with hackers employing both established and cutting-edge tactics to breach digital defenses and weaken the effectiveness of human safeguards. As a result, organizations are seeking ways to adapt their security strategies and stay ahead of the curve. One valuable resource for understanding industry benchmarks and identifying potential vulnerabilities is Nobifor's 2023 Fishing by Industry Benchmarking Study. Joanna Heisman, SVP Strategic Insights and Research at Nobifor, highlighted the report's findings on employee phishing susceptibility in different industries. She stressed the critical importance for organizations to promptly address this vulnerability. What we're finding is regardless of the company size, the overall baseline PPP across all industries and all organizations is 33.2%. So that's up a point from last year. That's not good. Our research shows that untrained users continue to be the most significant flaw in an organization's cyber defense layer. So humans without this proper knowledge and training and testing really leave organizations crippled and exposed. Human error accounts for 82% of data breaches according to the 2022 Verizon Data Breach Investigations Report, with phishing being the prime culprit. To address this, Mary Rose Martinez, VP and CISO at Marathon Petroleum Corporation, advocates for phishing simulation training as a proactive measure. It's paramount to have phishing simulation training programs within an organization. Well, we cannot stop there. The frequency with which we conduct such programs is a direct correlation to the efficacy of the training. As your organization gets better, we're not going to gain the metrics and systems. We need to increase the level of sophistication of the phishing simulations emails themselves and simulate what would have happened in, in real life and what changes are occurring with the ones that we're seeing in real life in order to continue to ensure that our organization stays adept and more aware for what the threat landscape looks like. Alyssa Abdullah, aka Dr. J, Deputy CSO and Senior VP of Emerging Corporate Security Solutions at MasterCard, has witnessed firsthand the immense value that consistent security awareness training brings to an organization, along with the notable level of success it can achieve. At MasterCard, we do monthly spear phishing training. In fact, it's probably one of the most aggressive places that I've been, which makes sense in financial payments and technology space. That message comes from the top down. That importance comes from the top down because even the presidents of the different business units or business groups have competitions amongst themselves on what the click rate is. That level of engagement increases the awareness. Still, we must remember that despite extensive training and awareness efforts, even the most vigilant employees can fall prey to phishing attempts, particularly during periods of heightened stress. Cliff Moore, CISO at Wilson Sporting Goods, underscores the importance of exercising caution and employing common sense when interacting with emails and links, regardless of their apparent authenticity. One of the things that I always like to hazard on top of our security awareness program is the idea of common sense. Things that you wouldn't open that you receive in your mailbox at home or if someone called you directly, why exactly does that fly out the window the moment that it comes in digital format? So the attackers are constantly evolving. 
The techniques are evolving, but at their basis, they work on basic human psychology, that need for impulse, to click, to do, to move before someone else, or activating that sense of urgency response. And if you breathe, if you take a moment, if you are even the least bit paranoid, you can save yourself a lot of time and yourself and your organization a bunch of money and resources. For more information on cybercrime and cybersecurity, including the latest facts, figures, and statistics which convey the magnitude of the threat we're up against, visit us at cybersecurityventures.com. This special production is sponsored by Know Before, the world's first and largest new school security awareness training and simulated phishing provider that helps you manage the ongoing problem of social engineering. To learn more about our sponsor, Know Before, visit knowbefore.com.